it is super snowy. I'm wearing my grandmother's overalls and gloves and hat. It's just so nice to be back in the snow in cold weather and to see my baby cat Chris. So this is the house we're staying in. It's my grandparents farm. We've been here for like a few days now. I'm still recovering from the jet lag. This is the house. It's a, it's a big farm and I will show you all around it. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's winter so it looks quite different. So all those fields out there, that is what my granddad and uncle does. But it's just so nice to be in the snow. And I'll just show you, so this is the um, inner farm. We're like, yeah, it's pretty cold after four years in New Zealand. I'm gonna show you on this side it's where I grew up. I grew up over this field and over there. So this is the house from the front. It's pretty big, but um, that's why we can stay there. We're just staying on the top floor. So this is where we're staying. We haven't made the bed yet. Um, but this is my grandparents' old bedroom. My granddad stays downstairs now to avoid slipping. And then this is the view. And look at that sunrise over the field. So beautiful. And when I grew up, I used to just live over there across two fields. I'm going to show you this is the storage room. It's a lot of things. I'm gonna see if I can get some stuff from in here and then I'll show you. So this is maybe from a Swedish traditional costume. We wear a specific costume, so I'm gonna see if I can find it and show you, but the cotton is just incredible because it's so old. And this is a skirt I just found. It's made in Finland. My grandma was very tiny. I have to see if it fits because I tried on her wedding dress <laughs> and I couldn't even get it on because um, I consider that for my wedding. But I've actually wanted a skirt exactly like this. But the label is from a brand called Karelia and it's made in Finland. Does anyone need a trench coat? This is the Swedish traditional outfit and isn't that interesting? It's so interesting how, gosh, I feel like I have to try this when I show you, but I have to wash my hair first. It's so interesting how, um, color used to exist and like patterns because these days everything is so beige and Scandinavia is associated with minimalism and a lot of western countries are and um, yeah I'll link a really cool interesting article about the colonization of color and how it's been removed because this is our traditional outfit and this is not something most people would maybe associate with Sweden these days I wish I could show you guys the detail. It's really hard to tell, but you can see this is all hand, hand stitched and the fabric is super heavy. It's just so beautifully done. And I can't wait to try that on. And I'm so excited my wardrobe. I've already gotten th two whole pa big paper bags of clothes from my dad and his girlfriend and, um, for my granddad, my grandmother's old like unworn clothes. I'm wearing, I'm wearing her sweatpants and her leggings and her shoes that she never got to wear. So I think they'll feel a bit sorry for me because I don't have any clothes. But yeah, we're both well dressed now and I'm actually super warm. So yeah, we'll see. Nicely. <laughs> Up like this. Isn't it just so perfect? They're just perfectly made. Um, obviously the apron with the bow in the back is the cutest. But yeah, so it fits. <laughs> it's so pretty. I'm going to show you the photo. So here is my great-grandmother, who I've never met, 
wearing a traditional outfit and then that is my uh, grandmother's sister but yeah it's so crazy that that's them and then and then this is me however many years later I'm just so happy that most people would probably think you're crazy if you wore one but I just love it and I want to wear it all the time <laughs> it's so comfortable I'm just looking through my grandmother's closet um, I found this one super cute I'm gonna have that one these hats we wear in Sweden when we graduate do not look good in a hat. <laughs> this one must be super old. A handkerchief. I love handkerchiefs. So, that one I'm taking. Ah, oh, woolly socks. I love woolly socks. My grandma would have made all these. I don't know if you can see, but they're very, very pretty. She used to knit socks on the long drive when we went skiing in winter this is a 12-hour drive so she would sit and knit the whole way i've been awake since 4 a.m this morning because of jet lag so my grandmother died four years ago this one is so nice um just before we left and yesterday would have been her birthday and she's actually buried just a hundred meters from here I really like these dainty little ones. So, that's what I'm gonna keep. I just like these little ones because you can use them as hair bands or you could um, use them for crafts and stuff and make really beautiful, make really beautiful gifts or like little, um, little bags and stuff because you can make them out of like a regular cotton fabric, so like old bed sheets or whatever. And then you could add something like a sparkly old lace fabric and it just looks stunning and I just found this website with free patterns for homeware like that so I'll link it below because it's so nice this is so fun this is Chris he is my baby and oops this chair is not good to film on so i'm in sweden <laughs> anyway i'm super excited as you can tell i've missed my cat so much i feel really bad i haven't been able to take care of him for the last four years and i've also met my niece for the first time who i adore i met my sister she's coming next weekend again she lives an hour away and um obviously staying with my granddad and uh yeah, it's just been quite a lot. I'm quite tired. Also like tired from having spent the last year not living in a house or anything like that. So I'm quite happy to just be in like a calm place. Sweden is so much quieter than New Zealand and um, Asia and Australia. It feels like there's always noise there. Here everything is so quiet. There's no music in the grocery store. Um, you know, there's no music at the doctor's office. It's completely, completely quiet. Um, everything's just so much more quiet here. And, um, I sort of do live in the middle of nowhere, but it's just so nice to be out in nature and to be in silence again. I mean, you can hear. But I wanted to show you Sweden and I will do lots more vlogs about Sweden once we've gotten settled. So quite a few things, like I got my bank card yesterday, um, need to change tires on the car today to winter tires. And you know, all the practical things when you've been away for such a long time. And uh, also looking at houses in Southern Europe at the same time, which is terrifying. I'm just really, really grateful to be home and um, it's also really really heartbreaking knowing that i won't stay here forever meeting my niece and seeing my sister again can't even think about leaving them um, without crying and my little brother so it's just it's just crazy but um 
yeah, it's really hard <laughs> not seeing your family members for such a long time and then knowing that you're going to leave them again. But hopefully this time I'll be closer. So hopefully I can visit them much, much more. Isn't that right? Yeah, I love you. <laughs>